Today I will discuss about slit lamp bio microscope. Slit lamp is an optical instrument which emits a narrow or slit like but intense beam of light used to examine the interior of eye from cornea to anterior part of vitreous. Slit lamp was invented by Goldstein in 1921. Modern slit lamp with its accessories devices not only provides magnified views of every part of the eye from cornea to retina but also allows photography of every part for documentation and quantitative measurements like intraocular pressure endothelial cell counts pupil size corneal thickness anterior chamber depth most slit lamps provides a range of magnification from 6x to 40x Now principle of slit lamp a narrow beam is produced by the slit lamp which is observed by the examiner under magnification the coelar illumination system has been adopted in slit lamps in the coelar illumination system as shown in the figure the filaments of the light source is imaged by the condenser lenses at or close to the projection lens which in turns forms the image of the slit in the patient's eye here in this figure you can see the image of filaments is formed by the condenser lens at the projection lens then the projection lens form the image of slit at the mirror then from the mirror the slit fall into patient's eyes observable parts let's see what are the parts of eyes that can be examined using slit lamp eyelids and lashes tear film conjunctiva limbus cornea aqueous humor anterior chamber iris and pupil crystalline lens and anterior vitreous here is a flow chart that can be used while examining the patient's eye first we will start with the lids then conjunctiva both bulbar and palpebral conjunctiva then limbus then cornea then tear film then anterior chamber then iris and then crystalline lens now types of slit lamp there are two types of slit lamp by microscope one jais slit lamp by microscope two hack street slit lamp by microscope in jais type light source is at base of the instrument in hack street type light source is at top of the instrument now parts of slit lamp a slit lamp is composed of three basic parts one observation system two illumination system three mechanical support system in this figure this is observation system or microscope this is illumination system and this is mechanical support system now let's discuss details about observation system The observation system is essentially a compound microscope which consists of an objective lens an eyepiece lens and prisms an objective lens objective lens consists of two plano convex lenses together both lenses provide a composite power of plus 22 diopter Here in this figure you can see the two plano convex objective lenses an eyepiece lens eyepiece has a lens of plus 10 diopter eyepiece lens provide good stereopsis while examining the patient eyes the eyepiece tubes are converged at an angle of 10 to 15 degree Here in this figure you can see the eyepiece lens that is of plus 10 diopter prisms image formed by the slit lamp is inverted to reinvert the image a pair of prisms is used in the observation system now let's know details about illumination system illumination system comprises following components one light source two condenser lens system three slit and other diaphragms four filters five projection lens six reflecting mirror or prism 
light source. Initially, a nernst lamp was used as a light source, which was followed by nitra lamp, arc lamp, mercury buffer lamp, and finally halogen lamps. It provides an illumination of 200,000 to 400,000 lux. Here in this figure, you can see halogen lamps as a light source in slate lamp. 2. Condenser lens system. It consists of a couple of plano convex lenses with their convex surfaces in a position. Here in this figure, you can see two condenser lenses. 3. Slit and other diaphragms. The height and width of the slit can be varied using two knobs providing for this purpose. In this figure, these are the slits. By moving these slits, we can increase or decrease the length and width of the slit. 4. Filters Different filter can be inserted into the illumination beam. Cobalt blue and red free filters are provided in most of the models. Here in this figure, you can see the filters. 5. Projection lens it forms an image of the slit at the eye. The diameter of the projection lens is usually fairly small. In this figure, here you can see the projection lens. Reflecting mirror or prism. A mirror or prism reflects the light along a horizontal axis. Here in this figure, you can see the reflecting mirror. Now, mechanical system. Mechanical system consists of joystick arrangement, up and down movement arrangement, patient support arrangement, and fixation target. Joystick arrangement Movement of the microscope and illumination system towards or away from the eye and from side to side is usually achieved by a joystick arrangement. Here in this figure, you can see the joystick arrangement through which we can move the slit lamp forwards, backwards, right, left and little bit up and down also. Up and down movement arrangement. The up and down movement is obtained by some sort of screw device that moves the whole illumination and viewing system up and down relative to the chin rest. Here in this figure, you can see the screw device that helps to move the chin rest up and down. Patient support arrangement. A vertically movable chin rest and the provision to adjust the height of the table have been made to accommodate the person of all sizes. Fixation target. A movable fixation target greatly facilitates the examination under some conditions. Here in this figure, you can see the movable fixation target. We can move or fix it anywhere that we want the patient to fix it. The details note about slit lamp by microscope, including procedure, different illumination system, filters and all are available in our apps. Don't forget to download our app, Optometry Notes and MCQ. It's available in the Play Store. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.